So you may have just picked up your iPhone 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max, and you might be trying to figure out how to use your specific LiDAR sensor. Now, the LiDAR sensor doesn't really work how you think it works. You know, it's not a camera module that you can go and just utilize like an ultra-wide sensor. It's actually a little, like, sensor that helps with AR and VR type of activities. And we'll go ahead and demonstrate this, this in a second, but essentially the way to do it is you have to be in an application or utilize a certain app with an Apple or whatever that will utilize specific AR and VR type of technology. So a great way to test this and how to basically use it is you can search up like AR or VR type of apps that are utilized for your iPhone, which can be assisted with that specific application. But another thing you can do is go to Apple's own website, go to the iPhone 14 page. And one thing they do at the very bottom of their page, you know, as you can see from my bar right here, about half, a little bit closer to halfway down, you can see this little, see both iPhone 14 models and AR. Now you can do this on really any iPhone, but with that LiDAR sensor, it helps out a little bit more. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and see, oh, well, if we want to view the iPhone 14 in AR, we can go and choose this. It'll open up my specific iPhone sensor right there, and it will go ahead and place that LiDAR, it'll go ahead and place that specific option right where it sees fit. If I go ahead and move my camera a little bit more here, you can basically see that I will see that iPhone right there, and it will automatically place it somewhere, right? It may not be in the best location, but what I can do here is I can go ahead and kind of maneuver it around. I can bring it over, and with the help of that LiDAR sensor, it's going to be able to put it in a better situation and just give me a better output on it than if I didn't have that LiDAR sensor. So you can see I'm able to see this specific iPhone, I'm able to like maneuver around with it and everything. And this is exactly what happens when you have that LiDAR sensor. Now, like I said, you can do this exact same thing if you don't have a LiDAR sensor either, but it helps out a lot more if you do have it. So in my opinion, this is a really cool thing. I think you can even see the display in the back, but that is pretty much it. If you want to go ahead and use that LiDAR sensor, really the only way to go ahead and maneuver around and using it is by utilizing applications that use it. If you, if you can't like trigger it, like I said, you can't just go inside of your camera application and just use it that way. The only way to do it for the most part, and either utilizing certain applications that use it like that, you know, Apple one that I just showed you, or downloading applications that use it too. So that pretty much covers it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.